Hi guys, let's look at the next question. The next question is question number 4. It says water is discharged from a pipe of cross-sectional area of 3.2 cm square. So what is given is area of cross-section is equal to 3.2 square centimeter and what is given is speed is equal to 5 meter per second. I notice this is given in centimeter and this is given in meter. So let me convert this as well into meter which means this will be 5 into 100 centimeter per second which is 500 centimeter per second. Done. Calculate the volume of water discharged in cubic centimeter per second. So I know the formula which is volume per second is equal to this is volume in one second, so this is equal to area of cross section multiplied with speed. In this case, I have taken the speed in unit second. So area is 3.2 and the speed we just calculated was 500. So that's 500 into 3.2, so that's 150 and 10, that's 160. So this is 1600 centimeter cube. So that's the first part of our question. This we've converted this into centimeter cube. Next part in liters per minute. So this is in one second. Let's convert this into how much will it come out in one minute, and then we'll convert centimeter cube into liter. Okay. So uh, volume of water. So this was in one second, which means in one minute it would be multiplied by sixty which means 1600 into 60 centimeter cube and if I need to convert this into liter I remember I told you 1000 centimeter cube is equal to 1 liter and 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter. These are the two conversions that I talked about in our previous video. Anyway, so let's look at this. This is 1600 into 60 upon 1000 liters. This double zero goes, these two zeros also get cancelled, so that's 16 to 6, that's 96 liters. Now, very simple one, that was the second part of our question. Let's look at the next one. The next question that we solve is question number 5. Let's look at question number 5. Again, an interesting question. It says a hose pipe of cross section area of 2 meter, 2 centimeter square delivers 1500 liter of water in 5 minutes ok so find the speed of water in centimeter per second to the pipe so there are various things given this is given in centimeter then this is liter and then this is minute so we will have to convert them into equal units right so 1500 liters is equal to basically 1500 into 1000 centimeter cube because 1 liter is equal to 1000 centimeter cube done so we've done one conversion of converting it into centimeter cube this is this much water comes out in five minutes which means we need to calculate how much water comes out in one second so 1500 into 1000 centimeter cube comes out in 5 minutes which is 300 seconds therefore volume of water in 1 second would be equal to 1500 into 1000 upon 300 yes 1500 into 1000 upon 300 double zero and double zero three one three five this is equal to 5,000, not 50,000, 5,000 centimeter cube. Perfect. We know the formula volume of water is equal to area of cross section multiplied with speed. So in this case, this is 5,000 is equal to 2 into speed which would be therefore speed is 5000 divided by 2 which is 2500 and the units we use were centimeter so this is centimeter per second 
but they want the answer in meter per second, which means I'll have to divide this by, because 100 centimeters is equal to one unit, which means this is equal to 2,500 upon 100 meter per second. Therefore, speed is equal to 25 meter per second. Simple, a lot of conversions in this question. One, we converted liters into centimeter cube, converted this into second, and then after we got the answer, we converted centimeter into meter. Good, let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number six. So question number six says uh, length is four meter. So the cross section of a piece of metal, four meter in length, so the length is four meter. We need to find the area of the cross section, volume of piece of metal and the weight. Perfect, so let's just draw a line to divide this here. Let's just divide this to give us a uniform solid. So this is A, B, C, D, E, F. The area would be equal to the area of the rectangle A, B, E, F plus area of triangle E, C, D. So let's just write that down. Area of cross section is equal to area of rectangle A, B, E, F plus area of triangle E, C, D. So what is the length of A, B? A, B is 10 centimeters. So this is 10. And what is the height? A, F is 12 plus area of triangle, which is half into base. So how much is E, C? If this seven and a half is done, which means this is 12 minus seven and a half, which is 12 minus seven and a half at the base and the height is 16 minus 10, 16 minus 10. Let's just do this calculation. So this would be 10 into 12, that's 120 plus one by two into 12 minus seven and a half, that's 4.5 multiplied with 16 minus 10, that's six. That's two, one, two, three. So this is equal to 120 plus four and a half into three, that's 12, 13.5. So therefore, area is equal to 133.5 square centimeter. So the first part of the question is done. Next part of the question, it says volume. We know volume is equal to area of cross section multiplied with the length, in this case, four meter. We notice that this is given in centimeter, this is in meter, so let's convert meter into centimeter, and this would be 133.5 multiplied with 400 centimeter cube. Now the multiplication, 1335 multiplied with 4. So this is 4 into 5, 20, 12 plus 2, 14, 12 plus 1, 13, 4 plus 1, 5. So that's 5340. How many decimals? One decimal. That means 534 and two more. So that's 53,400 centimeter cube. Done. That's my second part of the question. Also done. Let's look at the third part of the question. Third part of the question says one cubic centimeter weighs this much. Find the weight that it will have. Okay. So Again, unitary method, one centimeter cube weighs 6.6 6 gram. Therefore, 53,400 centimeter cube will weigh, we we'll just need to multiply 6.6 6 into 53,400 grams. Let's multiply, that's 534 multiplied with 66. So this is 6 fours are 24, 18 plus 2, 20, that's 30 plus 2, 32. This will be exactly the same. So 4, 4, 2, 5, 3. 3, 5, 2, 4, 4. How many decimals? 534 into 6.6, which means 352.5. Okay, so let me just remove the decimal. So this is 35244 with 
two more zeros because uh, I'll remove one zero here because this becomes 66, which means I add one zero here. This is gram. And if I need to convert this into kilogram, I will divide this by 1000. This is kg, which means I'll have two decimal, which is 352.44 kilogram. Well, as per the question, they want it to the nearest kg, which means this will be equal to 352 kilogram. That's my final answer. Done. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number seven. Question number seven says a rectangular a tank 80 centimeter into 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter is filled with a pipe of cross section area 1.5 square centimeter. The water emerges at 3.2 meter per second. We need to find how much time will it take. So for we first need to figure out how much volume does the pipe need to fill. So total volume, total water required, which is equal to volume of tank is equal to 80 into 60 into 60. That's length into breadth into height centimeter cube. Perfect. Let's figure out how much water does the pipe give out in one second. Okay. So, but again, I notice that this is given in meter per second. I am this everything else is in centimeter. So let's just convert. So speed of water is equal to 3.2 meter per second, which is equal to 320 meter or not meter, 320 centimeter per second multiplied with Next, I know volume of water in one second that will equal to area of cross section into speed. So, area of cross section multiplied with speed. In this case, in one second, I will be able to fill 1.5 multiplied with 320 centimeter cube of water. So, 1.5 into 320 that 480 centimeter cube. So that's the simple calculation. 480 centimeter cube is filled in one second. This much centimeter cube will be filled in how many seconds? Unitary method, four centi 480 centimeter cube gets filled in one second. Therefore, 80 into 60 into 60 centimeter cube will fill in 80 into 60 into 60 divided by 480 seconds. 0 goes, 0 goes, 8, 1, 8, 6, 6. Yes, 6, 1, 6, 10. This is 600 second, which is also 10 minutes. So that's the final answer. Therefore, tank will fill in 10 minutes. Done. Let's look at the next question. The next question we do is question number 8. Very interesting question. Uh, maybe the most important question from this exercise perspective. Let's see. It says rectangular cardboard length as 32 centimeter, 26 centimeter. Okay, so let's just draw a rough diagram. This is the rectangular cardboard. The length is 32. This is 32 centimeter. The breadth is 26 centimeter. Done. Each square of side 3 centimeter are cut from the corner, which means I am cutting four squares from each corner one square from each corner, which is here, the other one here, the third one here, and the fourth one here. Four, four uh, squares are cut from each corner, each of length and breadth three. So these are cut and then what happens? 
uh, and the corners are folded to make a rectangular container. Ah, okay, so what will happen is they this portion is cut and this part now becomes a base of the three dimensional object and this part becomes the height which means now this is folded this part is folded like this to become the height similarly this part is folded here to become the height and this part is folded like this to become the height similarly this part is folded to become the height so now these are folded and they make it in the form of a uh, rectangular container perfect what we need to find is the capacity of the container form so we need to figure out what is the length of this container what is the breadth of the container and what's the height so length of container will be equal to let's say what i'm marking in red so this is the length of the container from 32 i have removed 3 here and 3 here so is equal to 32 centimeter minus 3 centimeter minus 3 centimeter which is 32 minus 6 that's 26 centimeter breadth would be again let's figure out what will be be subtracting in this case this is the breadth which i'm marking in green here from the total length which was 26 I have removed three once and I have removed three twice, which means this will be equal to 26 centimeter minus three centimeter minus three centimeter, which is 20 centimeter. And what will be the height? Height is what has been cut from the side and that becomes the height. In this case, what has been cut is three centimeter. So this is three centimeter. Therefore, volume would be equal to length into breadth into height which is 26 into 20 into 3 centimeter cube which is equal to 26 into 60 so that's 26 into 6 6 into 6 36 12 plus 3 15 that's 1560 centimeter cube very interesting question once you draw a diagram life becomes very simple that brings me to an end of this uh, exercise homework question for you homework question for you would be question number nine and question number ten thank you so much take care be safe i'll see you with the next video bye bye